International Women's Day is symbolic because what it does is brings all the women together all over the, all over the globe. In fact, to actually show the progress women have made and also gives an opportunity for people to look at this segment and the potential that has to be released within this segment. I'm delighted that I've been invited by um, EBRD um, to participate in this event. Um, I think nurturing female talent is absolutely crucial at this time and really what I expect to get from this event is really to be able to bring out into the open some of the barriers, some of the initiatives that are out, out there and some of the out-of-the-box thinking. I mean the biggest challenges I see for women in business are really access to finance, access to capital, access to markets and access to business networks. He kind of shakes hands with everybody and then he kind of looks around and he says, I'm the only man in the room. And I said, that's how we feel most of the time. I sit on the board today of four public companies a U.S. mining company where 25% of the board members are women, two U.K. companies where I'm the only woman, and the board of a Swiss bank where I have been the only woman for six years, but we are bringing another woman on the board this spring. Um, it's a disappointment to me that there are so few women in senior management roles in these companies. We have diversity in terms of nationality, diversity of experience, and I think gender diversity is another way to promote um, a very uh, constructive and prismatic, if I could say, thinking. When I think of organizations and what they need to have and how they need to be structured to help nurture women and develop talent, I think the first thing we need to change is stop thinking of it as a women's problem. It is actually an organizational problem. And that organization problem has to deal with, one, training managers, day-to-day -day managers who actually interface with the women and reinforce the message that comes from the top down. To increase the transparency around promotions and pay so that people understand the way in which it's dealt with throughout the processes and therefore understand that there is a degree more of fairness than they may perceive. And I think the th last part is that it gets down to what the women do and how they comport themselves and deal with their careers in the organization. Businesses really need to make sure that they benefit from the enrichment of diversity in its widest sense, and women are part of that diversity. Um, I also think that the demographics are such that we need the participation of women, both in business and in the corporate world. At the moment, I see a brain drain going from the corporate sector into the entrepreneurial world. Um, where women are basically going to create wealth and they're going to be the future wealth creators.